Okay, this is uh, section 12.3, liquids and solids. We're going to contrast the arrangement of particles in liquids and solids. So we're going to look at the molecular level and see how those differ between liquids and solids. We're going to describe the factors that affect viscosity and tell you what viscosity is, explain how the unit cell and the crystal lattice are related. Uh, meniscus, that's the curved surface at the bottom of a column of liquid. New vocabulary, viscosity, surface tension, surfactants, crystalline solid, unit cell, allotrope, and amorphous solid. Okay, so the particles in solids and liquids have limited range of motion. They're not easily compressed. So that's the main thing that separates solids and solids and liquids from gases. The gases can move all around. They're widely separated apart. The solids and liquids, um, very close, very limited range of motion and not easily compressed, either one of those. Okay, in liquids, the forces of attraction keep molecules closely packed in a fixed volume, but not a fixed position. And we know that from experience, right? If we pour a liquid into any container, it takes whatever shape the container is but it doesn't increase or decrease very well it doesn't compress or do anything else liquids are much denser than gases because of the stronger intermolecular forces holding the particles together and large amounts of pressure must be applied to compress liquids to very small amounts so to compress liquids you really it's really pretty hard to do you need a lot of um, pressure to do that Liquids are, have the fluid, have this the fluidity, the ability to flow and diffuse. Uh, liquids and gases are both fluid, so that's how they're both the same. Viscosity is a measure of the resistance of a liquid to flow, and it's determined by the type of intermolecular forces, the size and shape of the particles, and the temperature. You can think of viscosity as like um, like honey. So if honey is like kind of cold. And it's you know it's, you get it out of the cupboard and it's you know the cold house, it doesn't flow very well. It's liquid, but it's you know really pretty thick. If you heat that up in the microwave or on the stove or something, it becomes much um, thinner. It flows more easily, and that's kind of how you can think about viscosity. You know how how fast something flows, and it does determine you know a lot of it's determined by what it's made up of and also the temperature. Okay, so the stronger the intermolecular attractive forces, the higher the viscosity, the, the harder it is to move. Larger molecules create greater viscosity, and long chains of molecules, greater viscosity. Increasing the temperature decreases viscosity. It flows more easily, like the honey I just said, because the added energy allows the molecules to overcome their intermolecular forces, so they're they have more energy, they're bumping into each other with more energy and they could flow past each other more freely. Uh, surface tension is the energy required to increase the surface area of liquid by a given amount. Um, surfactants are compounds that lower the surface temperature of water. And a lot of times farmers use surfactants when they're like spraying their crops so that it lowers the surface temperature of the water and whatever they're spraying sticks to the plants so they can use less material and um, get the same effect that they're looking for. Um, cohesion is the force of attraction between identical molecules. So water molecules have cohesion. Adhesion is the um, force of attraction between molecules that are different. And capillary action is the upward movement of a liquid into a narrow cylinder or capillary tube. Okay, so the, 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 move, the liquid will move upward in these small capillary tubes. Um, happens in your, no, it's okay. Solids, containers, solid contains particles with strong, very strong intermolecular forces. And they, they, the particles vibrate in fixed position. Most solids are more dense than liquids, and the one exception to this is solid ice is less dense than liquid water, and it's kind of a good thing, otherwise the world would be a totally different place if all the ice sunk to the bottom of the ocean instead of floating on top, it would, the world would be uh, much colder than it is now. It'd be that process would keep going on until the, you know, until the water was much colder than it is now. Crystalline solids. Solids with atoms or ions 
our molecules arranged in orderly geometric shape. Okay, so they have these three different ones here. The one, you know, from the simple cell, simple cubic cell, one with the cell with something inside of it, and then, you know, a face-centered unit cubic, and one of the more complex ones. A unit cell is the smallest arrangement of atoms in a crystal. Lattice have the same symmetry as the whole crystal. So this is what the unit, one little unit equals, if we took that unit, it would have the same structure as the whole big crystal. So that's what they're trying to say there. And these are some examples of different kind of crystals in rocks. And types of crystal in solids. Um, soft, very, you can go through these. These are in your book. I'm not going to take too much time in the video for these. Amorphous solids are solids in which the particles are not arranged in a regular repeating pattern. These would be things like plastic and glass. Amorphous solids form when molten materials cool quickly. That's, you know, we get plastic cooled from some petroleum-based product and glass is made from when sand is heated up and cooled quickly. Okay, so the smallest arrangement of atoms in a crystal has the same pattern as the whole crystal is what? Well. We just said that a couple of seconds ago. Okay, so that's the unit cell. The viscosity of a liquid uh, will increase as, which makes it increase. These are all decreasing except particle size. So which one would it be? If temperature decreases, it gets thicker. Particle size decreases, they move over each other easier. Part, bigger particles, more of this guy. So it's gotta be C. As, oops, D, particle size, well, oh yeah, increase. I read it wrong, increase. So yeah, particle size increases. I was thinking of decrease for some reason. Oh well, so that's the end of the video. Um, 